Hey everybody, I'm George Sanchez and welcome back to Zanetta's weekly rate update. Uh, right now I'm focusing on the Far East Maine to US West Coast board pairs. For those of you who are new to these videos, the spot market right here is made up of this yellow line, over 30,000 different data points used in aggregation and the long term contract market sitting in around one thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars per box is using two thousand seven hundred and fifteen data points. So a very, very uh, accurate and a very, very data rich um, set of information that we're looking at here. So spot market pricing is capped out. Uh, it's hit the ceiling of around thirty eight hundred dollars per 40 hasn't moved since October. Uh, and as we speak, there are around 15 vessels sitting off the coast of the port of L.A. and Long Beach um, waiting to come into the port. This is putting a ton of pressure on port operations. And the name of the game now is equipment uh, shipping all of it back to uh, China because these ocean carriers are capitalizing on this um, high level of pricing. Moving into the Far East Maine to North European main ports, we're seeing week on week growth in spot market pricing sitting in around $2,636 per box uh, and 16, around $1,600 per box, uh, respectively, for the long term contract market. What's interesting is that volume is anticipated to decrease as we get into uh, week 49. For the US West Coast, they're anticipating a, around a 33% downturn in volume. Uh, and looking at further projections as we go cl get closer to Chinese New Year. Uh, what's also interesting is that Maersk isn't purchasing as many vessels as they've done in the past, usually in these scenarios where the times are good. So there's a lot of speculation in the market right now of how much new capacity are the ocean carriers going to reintroduce over the long term. So, you know, within the next 25 years or so. Uh, this is an interesting way to look at it because it's really playing on the supply and demand economics of the ocean freight market and may lead to some indication that these rate levels, while there may not necessarily be here to stay, there may be be some level of stability in pricing as we go into the future with without these massive climbs and, and drops offs in um, in pricing. So thanks for checking out the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop us a message below and looking forward to talking to you guys next week.